This is the nearest station to Fry University, right here, Fry University, Dahlemdorf. Let's go. So you come out of this station, uh, U-Bahn Dahlemdorf, and from there walk this way. What's up beating guys welcome back to my channel once again if you're new here consider subscribing because I feel that my goals will bring you the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellect to escape velocity let's start today's day at the moment I'm in Fry University's uh, campus Fry University's campus right now I'm here to meet a friend of mine her name is Yogita she's studying masters in uh, chemistry and I wanted to know two important things how did she get here second thing is uh, what kind of profile she had and her three years degree was accepted here or not well definitely it was accepted that's why she's studying here already but uh, I'm in the campus uh, at the moment I'll try to show you around campus is quite massive this is a uh, one of the most prestigious universities in Germany you look at all this <laughs> all all these buildings there are some departments here and this whole area is filled with campus that's where you see it's written Fry University Berlin Okay, just just go ahead and share how was your profile like before a couple of years back, right? Uh, okay. Actually, I'm getting to know Yogita <laughs> through my friend she connected me to someone and that someone connected me to her yeah so we're just getting to know each other um anyway so just go ahead and share your profile Said i'm from uh, ramdas college from du in terms of indian scoring system i think i scored like 75.7 percentage okay and in german system it was about 2.5 which is okay. the minimal requirement if you want to get into these universities. Second of all, I went for TOEFL because I realized at a very last moment that a lot of these university do universities don't recognize IELTS. This happened to me because okay. I was preparing the whole time for IELTS and mm -hmm. at the end moment for this university somebody told me that okay you have to do TOEFL. But basically it's just an English exam. I got 111 over 120 internships that thing will get you places. In Indian education system, when you're doing bachelors, they do not have the provision for external internships. You can do it yeah. by yourself, but they are not going to tell you that go do an internship because we have compulsory labs in bachelors. Okay, okay. so let's rewind the whole mm -hmm. points. So you, you did a three years of degree mm -hmm. uh, in chemistry. Yeah. And on top of that, you did an internship outside. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, that internship was for how long? It was not very long, but even if it's two, three months, and if you have like two, three internships, it's great. Even if you have one, that's okay. If you have zero internships, that's okay too. If, you're, if your grade is so high that yeah. they feel like, okay, maybe we should give this person an opportunity. Yeah. And other thing, which is also equally important, is extracurricular. Okay. Please, please don't undermine that. I know that I, by the time you finish high school, everybody thinks that, oh, we don't have to do extracurricular anymore because we are doing a specialized chemistry course. But still, even if you have a month in an NGO or mm -hmm. even if you have like, okay, you participated in a debate thing in your university or anything, these things matter a lot because these people don't care sometimes that okay you have a lot of grades but you didn't really do anything with your life mm -hmm. other than going to university yeah. you know it does not look good great i think uh, that sets the whole context uh, um you get a lot of people have this confusion about whether my three years of degree will be accepted mm -hmm. here in german universities or not usually people have this assumptions or they have heard from x person everybody has that person i've heard from someone that doesn't work out uh, let me ask you do you think because you did three years of degree. I did. What about your classmates or have you seen anyone getting rejected because of three years degree? No. Okay. Because basically here they don't see their bachelor's course as a as like a year program. It's everything to do with credit points. Okay. So it's like 
they convert okay how much is three years like how many credit points Be when you apply to these universities you're gonna have to give them an entire sheet of all the courses that you did how many hours uh -huh. each course took in a semester okay oh, then okay. they count hours when they count the hours then they realize okay so they uh, in three years you get like 180 cre credit points okay. they're like okay they have the full credit points we take them and did Delhi University provide you all these things? No. The hours thing? I mean, you have to, it's easy. I mean, you see how many classes you have in a week. Yeah. And there's a standard of classes. Your lecture lasts 45 minutes or uh -huh. your lecture lasts one hour. Uh -huh. And you can easily calculate on basis of that. But how do you put that in a form of a document? Just open Microsoft Word, type Okay, everything. so you just put it in a Put word. in your courses and go like, okay, this was these many hours uh -huh. okay, okay but basically you can even google this stuff you know that when you have a three-year program uh, then it is always equal to 180 credit points yes. so yeah. you applied through uniasis i believe i did all right and uh, how many universities did you apply four or five universities this university was actually on top of my list i applied to university of zurich eth zurich i mm. applied to a university in allen for polymer technology i applied to fau in erlangen and in siegen everybody has their own criteria the basis criteria remains the same your score mm -hmm. should be at least 2.5 and your english proficiency that's important because here they give the master's course in english okay or wherever you go for master's course in english so they want to see that you can speak english that's true yeah i applied to quite a bit and from some places i got rejected uh, from fau erlangen i got rejected i don't really know why they didn't tell me other universities I did get accepted into, but then I chose Berlin. So you didn't study any language or anything? Before I came here, I actually did a beginner's level of German course, like A1, because I was uh -huh. a little worried that, okay, I go to a new country and I'm lost or something, or nobody, because you will encounter this time and again that people just don't speak it. Yeah, yeah. So I think at least do A1 before you step into Germany. Yeah. You're doing masters of chemistry versus bachelors in, in chemistry in India. Mm -hmm. Is there any similarity here? The difference is so big that it's okay. overwhelming. But right. the only thing that will save you is the fact that Indian students are um, used to studying a yeah. hell lot more than I think anybody else in the world. Maybe the Chinese are doing as much studying. <laughs> but uh, that we have that kind of, um, we can put those many hours into it. Difference is that in technology, okay, courses are not that much different. Okay. If you do like an honors course in chemistry or anything, you have that basic knowledge that you need to understand these courses. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be super easy. The only thing is that here, Unlike compulsory lab courses in India, you have to go and do internships. Yeah, the only difference is basically in technology and other thing that you have to write extended reports about everything here when you do these internships, okay. of which we really don't have any experience. What subjects are you studying right now? Uh, or you studied already because she's writing her thesis at the moment. Mm -hmm. So do you remember on top of your head? Mm -hmm. There is division of subjects here. There are three categories. Mandatory? Mandatory. In each discipline, like inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, and physical chemistry, they will probably give you four options each, out of which you have to do two. Okay. So you can pick. Like, um, you don't want to do quantum chemistry, you hate it absolutely, you do not have to do it. Okay. Uh, you can just do statistical thermodynamics or spectroscopy or study solid states. Because by the time you come to masters, you don't have to do things that you really don't want to. And in every course, you get these options. You can okay. pick, even in compulsory, and do those courses. Mm -hmm. And then you have these uh, specialization courses uh, where you study a lot of interdisciplinary courses, like polymers. Because, I mean, the subject is on a boom right now yeah. in the natural science market. I mean, people are going crazy over it. So you can do specialization in polymers or drug chemistry or... Uh, anything basically even in material sciences just do special special it's very important when you're choosing these specialized courses i didn't know this i wish somebody had told me this that when you start doing all these internship and these specialized courses keep in mind that one day you have to write a thesis 
Yeah. And if you have some kind of theoretical background in these courses, then when you go and work in a lab, you can like re- make a connection between the two. You can relate to it. You know what you're doing. You don't have to start from like ground zero. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So do your specialization courses according to that. And other than that, you can do there. There are these optional courses, which you can do anything. You can go study astronomy. You can study English literature if you must. Okay. And you can do biophysics, basically anything that you feel like. You can study a little bit of law related to patenting and everything here, chemistry related. How is the course structured? Um, in my course, I was supposed to have two classroom sessions. I mean, mm-hmm. as in uh, two semester sitting in the class, mm-hmm. third semester writing completely thesis. Uh, on campus or in a company how is yours in our course there are four semesters right now i'm on my fourth semester which is dedicated to master thesis before the time you reach your fourth semester you should be done with your 90 credit points and this consists of your lectures yeah as well as your internships is internship part of your course mandatory yes this ah. is this is the mo- this is why People get very confused and they really, really mess up their schedule because uh, in they're like, okay, maybe we will do our theory courses in first two semesters and then we will uh, do our internships. You could do that, but you have to be very, very cautious of this. You have to plan your internships. For example, I did generally all my internships in holidays. For example, I did them in summer. I don't say that, I don't like suggest this, but the thing is I'm not a person who can do nine courses in one semester. Because internships, you have to do at least 15 to 20 credit points or 20 to 30. Let me just recap the whole thing. So it's four semester course, um, three semester uh, was classroom, plus internships, internships yes. and then fourth semester is thesis. Yeah. I want to ask you from you, what's your point of view on jobs here in, in Germany? In the field of chemistry, what, what are you doing? I will tell you something, a question, mm-hmm. which so many people, including my parents, have asked me about jobs. Yeah. They ask us, hey, you're studying from a good university, and what about, do you get placements or do, do they do companies offer you jobs or mm-hmm. like how does this work nobody there is no such thing as placements here because unlike India here no one university is deemed better than the other one mm-hmm. all universities are the same right so you have to go look for a job and I will not say that this is the easiest process <laughs> I mean it takes a while but it depends on like if you have like a really good skill set you've got amazing grades you have so many good internships yeah. your master thesis was amazing you got a good grade and you have publications maybe then they're gonna be like okay you know let's take this person Ugh. well right now i'm working with material sciences okay. so maybe i apply for i don't know there are a lot of uh, chemical companies here. I mean, Berlin is a hub yeah. of chemistry-based companies. I know BASF. There's BASF. Bayer and there's BASF, and yeah. then there are so many more yeah. where you can go do lab work. But other than this, there are there are such thing called graduate programs in the companies. Yes. Okay. So what they do is not only do they teach you, uh-huh. they they train you basically okay. to use you in their companies you get paid during this process as well and then when you learn they place you in one or the other projects right just like management trainees in India yes that was all from uh, Fry University anything you want to end with it's going to be amazing and just put in the work and when you come here you will seriously reap the benefits and it's going to be a very very exciting journey for all of you it's amazing and you will love it here. So don't be scared, do the work and you will make it. It's not difficult. If I can do it, you all can do it very easily. That's a great message. All right guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.